colleagues and Deputy Governor. Uh, first, I'd like to thank everybody here, um, politicians, academics, non-governmental organization, activists, business people, um, on behalf of my colleagues from the, the London School of Economics and other universities for uh, giving us such a wonderful time here in Sao Paulo and indeed the other cities that are represented from Brazil and beyond in Latin America. Uh, we've had a great time and it's been, for me anyway, a profoundly uh, important opportunity to learn. I think the key, th key themes that we've uh, had discussed here in Sao Paulo have built, on, or built out from earlier urban age themes uh, that have taken place in other conferences, but with a key difference. Again and again, we've come back to, in different ways, the, the extent to which changes in the global economy will now have a global to local effect. Saskia Sassen and I were at a conference in New York before we came here, and the same kind of issues came up strongly there too, this global to local, uh, global to local link. There is less certainty that the future will be the same as the past. I think Sao Paulo has provided an excellent backdrop for us, building on the very different things we've picked up from other urban age cities, but with many similarities as well. So the kind of issues we've picked up in the last two days include the fact that urban agglomerations continue to evolve. They are radical, they are exciting, they make our lives, well, certainly everybody in this room finds them exciting and interesting, and there is no let up in the excitement that these epic scale places uh, can provide. There's been a debate about changing influence, uh, the changing influences on cities and on their people. The economic slowdown I've mentioned, the impact of global problems and the flow of capital, which we've come up against again this afternoon, and the evolution of the management of risk. And on the subject of this fascinating, and I'm here now so I can say this, I was going to say it earlier, the, the issue we bumped into this afternoon about the way in which capital no longer available at the national or global level, will it be available locally? I think it's worth remembering that in many older cities it used to be available locally, as was Saskia said. And what's happened is that because upper levels, levels of government have wanted more tax for consumption, which is popular, they've left local, local governments struggling, unable to raise their own resources to invest in themselves. And I think there is a big issue there that the urban age might wish to come back to. We've touched on transport, as the urban age often does. It's a major and important issue which everybody can understand in this city, in all cities, we need to get about to bring people into the labor market, to allow us all to travel around in a way that doesn't destroy the environment, but which does make it possible for us to visit people and to mix in the way that Charles Correa was saying this afternoon. And we've heard about the power of leadership and the need for government. What we've heard less about till this afternoon is this question of money, my own home topic actually. So I'm, uh, I think the, the extent to which cities are massive movers of money and resources and the fact that you can use public finance to redistribute money around cities, either using government machinery or using equalization mechanisms, is another one that we might want to pick up in future conferences. We've heard a bit less here that about heritage and culture than in the past and rather a lot less about financial and business services, except as a problem. So to summarize, there's clearly no let up, no, no let up in the need to analyze cities. Everybody in this room does it, either privately as they walk around the street or professionally all the time. But there is a need, I think, to move beyond the talk that we've done here and to come up with ideas that we can transfer very effectively from one city uh, to another. Sao Paulo and other Latin American cities have, I think, extraordinary opportunities in their particular current stage of development to learn from the mistakes that have been made elsewhere. We can certainly learn things uh, from Latin America. I've learned a lot about buses from Latin America, I can tell you that. The urban age itself has been enriched by Sao Paulo and we can now move on to Istanbul next year. So I'd like to thank you all on behalf of the LSE on, I'd like to help the Herrhausen Society as well, Wolfgang Novak, who's our great friend, 
and all the others who've helped make this such a wonderful event. So thank you very much.